Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this get ready with me work video. So if you want to see how I go from the left to the right, keep watching. Now I always use a primer because I'm at work all day long. So I need my makeup to last as long as it possibly can. I like using this Max Factor one because it does have SPF 20 in it. Now going in with this designer brand's foundation. I like this one because it has full coverage or medium to full, I guess you'd say. And it's quite easy to apply. It just looks really good. And I don't have to put in that much effort because I want minimal effort on a work day. And then I'm going in with this Maybelline concealer. Again, it's minimal effort. It blends really really easily and it looks nice on my under eye area and it brightens the area so I'm just applying that underneath my eyes down my nose my chin my forehead and blending it out with my damp beauty blender now I do need extra help when it comes to my dark circles so you can see the difference that it makes there but I use this NYX corrector and it works a treat I love it then I'm going to set the area. Now I do bake on a daily basis. It's like the only thing that stops me from creasing or my under eyes going cakey. So that's why I always do it. And then I set the rest of my face with either the Astralis or the L'Oreal powder as well. Moving on to brows, now this changes from day to day and usually I use this benefit one or just whatever I have out kind of thing and I just fill in my brows as usual. I don't go over the top with my brows or anything like that but I do usually clean them up with concealer if I need to. So then just brushing away that baking before I get to my eyes. Now I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but I'm just using it pretty much because I have it and it needs to be used up because it's going to dry up. But I do use an eye base every day. Now I'm going to use my Shanexo BH Cosmetics Palette. Going in with this neutral color first and setting the eye base before going in with this orangey transition color. I just like putting this in my crease and just blending it out so uh, it will help the other colors blend into my eyelids. And then going in with this really warm toned brown color. I love this color. It makes my eyes pop. And I'm just using the same brush while applying both of these just to save time. I'm really not doing much more than what you're seeing on camera. Like I didn't edit that much out. And then on the lid, I'm using this pink shimmery color. I use this every day, like this look. It's just easy, it works, I know it, and yeah. <laughs> then I'm taking a bit of that brown color on the lower lash line. And then for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the dark shadow. Now I find using an eyeshadow to be a lot softer on the eyes and instead of eyeliner, and I don't wanna go like for a full on wing or harsh liner or anything like that, but it just adds a little bit more definition then going in with a couple of coats of my new by nature mascara I really like this one it separates my lashes really nicely and lengthens volumes and it doesn't transfer on me which is a bonus to finish off the face I'm going in with this Rimmel contour kit taking the contour color first and taking it around the edges of my face and also underneath those cheekbones and jawline Next up, taking the gorgeous coral colored blush from the palette. I like this and I like that this palette has three uses. <laughs> now going over the highlighter. Now this isn't like a BAM highlighter. This is just like a nice soft everyday highlighter, which is why I like it and I like using the kit for work. Before I forget, I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and brow bone with the shimmery color from the eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to finish off with one of my favorite nude lip liners and one of my favorite nude lipsticks. Just very simple for work. Now I do work in an office environment. So this look just is put together. It's quick. It's easy. I know it. I know the products. I know that they work. So I don't really bother or have time to mess around for work, if you know what I mean. Uh, so let me know if you'd like to see any more of these videos and I would definitely get onto it. Obviously this look is not over dramatic or anything like that, it's quite natural, but let me know what you think. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.